good day guys good day guys this is mr shah um i just want to do a quick um tutorial video about how to make a deposit from um altcoin trader or from any exchange to the uh coin w exchange so please make sure that you follow um uh, i'm just going to show you guys the instructions and then you guys on the other side you can always do the rest now what is going to happen is that let's say this is your um your 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 altcoin trader account and then you have funds on um here you have funds here on za right now you want to move your usdt tokens to uh coin w exchange what you simply need to do guys is very simple you simply come here if you're using the phone but if you're using the laptop or the desktop screen you can always see the, um, the deposit and withdraw on top there so here you are going to come and click um uh, you are first going to say First of all, you are going to buy USDT, right? Now, you can simply come and check USDT and ZA right here. Uh, I'm sure there it is. USDT ZA. You click it. And then from there, you can be able to buy whatever ZA, uh, whatever USDT you want to buy, right? Depending on what you have on your ZA wallet. If you, have, if you want to buy maybe, for example, 30, you can simply uh, click 30. You put 30 and then it can tell you down there on total in terms of 30 usdt you are going to pay 555 but for for the sake of fees you need to make sure that you make it maybe roughly let's say 33 or 35 let's say 35 somewhere there right or 33 or 34 just to cover the fees so then you can get the exact amount on the other side right because obviously they're going to be fees that you have to pay for this transaction right and then after you have bought your tokens here that means now you will have your usdt tokens so after you've done that then you come to your um your coin double exchange and then maybe it will be on this screen as a home screen and then you will going to click on um asset right and then once you click asset it's going to show you this screen and then from there you are simply going to come and say um Right, you are simply going to say deposit you are going to come here and then you click deposit right and then on deposit it's going to give you the number of tokens that you can actually uh deposit into this platform so once you done that you simply go to uh search coin and then you are obviously going to transfer a usdt so you select usdt or you can simply search usdt now once you open that it's going to give you the screen but most important thing you remember on top here you can see this erc20 erc uh, trc20 bsc these are different networks so the one that we're going to be using is the one of erc20 right so what you're simply going to do here so even when you are like for example if you are using binance it will ask you to select the network so if this side the network is erc20 that means on binance uh, on binance as well or on the exchange that you'll be using if it asks you to select the network then select erc20 make sure that the network is the same because you cannot uh, select the network of erc20 and then when you send you send using the trc20 it, it like you, all your coins will be lost so what you need to do just say ERC20, like you can see here, it's already selected. So what you, when you send from Binance or from any other exchange, if the exchange asks you for the network, then you're going to select ERC20, right? Now, if this is the case, if this is how it looks like, then uh, on your coin W, then down here you can see you have deposit address. Then you're simply going to click dep um, copy, right? As you can see, you come and click copy here. And this is what I'm talking about here, ERC20, right? So this is the address that you're going to send to. So you simply come and click copy here, right? And then after clicking copy here, then you go to back to Altcoin Trader, right? On Altcoin Trader, now you go to uh, those three lines on top and you click withdraw, right? And from withdraw, you are simply going to click cryptocurrency because we want to withdraw cryptocurrency. And then from there, um, you, you scroll down right and then on this option here of search you can simply search because you are looking for what usdt usdt right then there it is and then you select it and then from down here you see the network is e erc20 because i'm sending to erc20 network i will leave it like that if i was selecting to bsc smart chain i was going to select BSC, B, B, bsc or binance smart chain but now i'm sending to erc20 it is fine so what i'm going to do here i'm going to paste the address that i've copied from 
coin w they accept it so let's say for example here here i have 30 maybe here my available balance is 30 tokens right it's 30 tokens then i'm going to put um all 30 tokens here right 30 tokens but now it will not allow me because i don't have any amount there right now you can see the fee now this is something that you need to take to heart guys if you are using this uh kind of the, you are transferring from a different exchange look at this this is roughly more than about 160 rand of fees so if you are sending 30 30 tokens you'll end up receiving 13 tokens right so if maybe for example i need um i can simply say okay let's say i'm sending maybe 35 35 tokens so i'll end up receiving how much 18 because this 16 is going to the uh uh is going to the is going to the is going to, to pay for the fees of this transaction so it's always like that now after that when you're done you're simply going to come here and then you click uh you're going to click withdraw right and then after you click withdraw then these tokens that you have withdrawn here they are going to actually come and reflect on your screen here you will see it immediately when you click here it's going to come and reflect here and then from once it's here then that's when you become able to actually transfer them to the futures account and then i'll make a separate video for that one thank you so much guys if you do get stuck let me know thank you so much i'm out for now